एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल द ट्रैवल ओलिक सेलर सो टुडे आई एम बैक अगेन विद अ न्यू वीडियो एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू ऑल द जीएमडीएसएस इक्विपमेंट्स ऑन बोर्ड लाइक देयर टेस्टिंग प्रोसीजर्स हाउ टू सेट सेंड डिस्ट्रेस मैसेजेस एंड ऑल द अदर थिंग्स ऑल द डिटेल्स अबाउट द जीएमडीएसएस इक्विपमेंट सिंस द जीएमडीएसएस इक्विपमेंट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑन बोर्ड इट इज फॉर आवर सेफ्टी ओनली इन केस ऑफ एनी इमरजेंसी this equipment will only save us so that's why this video is very important for all of you guys including second mates third mates and everybody so uh do watch this video completely if you have any question you can ask me you can write it down uh, in the comment section and i'll surely reply uh, and solve your all the queries and guys also i have uploaded one uh, panama canal transit full time lapse in which i have explained everything Uh, about the logs and all so you can also check out that video so guys let's go and check out our gmds equipment on board so let's go guys this is the gmds system on board we have this is the sat c nbdp mfhf and these are the printers for uh, sat c and uh, mfhf and we have three gmds walkie talkie this is also a part of gmds this is the walkie talkie for the live boat in our ship there are three vhf two vhf in the Uh, bridge and one is in the CCR. So this is the VHF number one, VHF number two. This is the VHF number two, and one is in the CCR. This is the AIS, AIS, and one more thing is this is our Navtex. So these are the things which we need to test during uh, GMDSS weekly, monthly test. So guys, let's go and check out our first equipment that is Sat C. Let's go. So, guys, this is the Sat C uh, of the ship. The model of this Sat C is uh, Furuno Falcon 15. So, I am going to show you the basic things uh, in this Sat C. So, let's check out what is there. There are some tabs here, like file. When you open this file, a new from new you can make a uh, uh, messages from here. Open. in open you can open and check out all the messages in the floppy so these are all the messages we egc messages and other things we have received in the floppy you can just open it and check it out then third one is to uh, to delete any message to print the format now this is transmit if you want to transmit a message just click on transmit and you have to put the data here like message file what message file you want to transmit then this is if you want to transmit by email or by sms or fax telex whatever you want then country code for uh, email you have to put this email id and after putting all these things details uh, you have to just click on transmit and it will start getting transmitted third one is egc to display the egc messages like this this is the uh, latest egc message we have received when you click on the report it will uh, tell you the data network id data report and message report whatever report it has received then logs uh, send message log what time you have sent any message or receive log egc log then other thing is options to log in the sat c select ocean region select uh, les then test this test i am going to show you uh, these are for the uh, daily and monthly tests then setup setup these are the distress alert setup system setup editor setup terminal setup egc setup email setup direction so when you open this distress alert setup it will show you latitude longitude and these things system setup all the things basic things like system uh, date time id other than editor setup 
these are the editor setup terminal setup egc setup nav area you have to select the nav area and what all reports you want so these are this setup is for that purpose and email setup so you can go one by one and check actually these things we don't require uh, much so i'm not going in the detail uh, i will going to show you uh, the process of sending the distress message and uh, uh, and the checks like monthly checks and weekly checks so for sending distress in the sat c there is one dedicated button here i'll show you so this this is the distress button you can see so in case of emergency if you don't have any time to type your message and all so you can just lift this distress button and just press this and the undesignated distress message will uh, go to the uh, satellite and it will transmit and if you have time then you have to make the distress message and save it i'll show you like just uh, go to file click on new and then just type made a made a and your uh, distress message and just save it press save and it will get saved and give one name like distress i'm not saving it right now just go to close and then you have to go to transmit and just transmit click on transmit message and you have to select the message file which you have created that distress message file and just send it so it will then type here the priority just put it distress so everything will be automatically input for the distress situation and just uh, press the transmit so it will so your distress message will get transmitted now for uh, sat c we have to do weekly and monthly checks for daily there is no daily test kind of thing in sat c daily test is like you have to check the printer paper whether it is working or uh, whether we have enough printer paper or not then uh, it is showing proper positions and uh, this voltage and all these things here yeah, it is the daily things it will show now if uh, weekly we are doing weekly pv link test in our ships so i'll show you how to do the pv link test so for weekly test pv link test you have to go to option there is a uh, option called test just uh, click on the test and these are the test pv link test diagnostic test and distress button test so we are doing this three test click on pv link test and press on start as you click on start it will take some time so that's why i am not uh, pressing it so when you click on start it will start uh, the pv link test let me show you i'll put it first i'll show you the diagnostic test because this will not take much time so i'll show you this one first diagnostic test just press yes start now testing will come and it will show the result so this is the diagnostic test everything is okay okay so you have to uh, take the print out and keep it and then this is distress button test just click on distress button test and it will show you distress distress button entered into test mode and this sound will come that is distress button test so if you want to escape just press continue to escape, escape button to continue so this is our distress button test the last thing is pv link test for for pv link test you have to press this button pv link and start it will take little time start pv link test process press any key to continue so now the test is going on see the current status test setup so it will take this pv link test uh, takes time so i will stop the video here and when the result comes i will just show you the test result so guys this is our next gmdss equipment mfhf so this mfhf we we have to do daily test as well as uh, weekly test so and for sending distress the same thing 
we have one dedicated distress button here. If you have any emergency, you cannot make your, uh, you don't have any time. Just come here and press this distress button and the distress message will automatically go. And if you have time for sending the dedicated distress message, just you have to come here and press this number two button DSC, press the DSC. This menu will pop up. Just click on which type of uh, message you want to send. You want to send the distress message. Just using this knob, come to this distress. Now it will ask what type of distress, nature. This is the nature, just click on nature and you can see many type of natures are given distress natures like fire flooding listing and these things just click one of them and when uh, i'll just show you see sinking so after this our distress message is prepared now you you just need to press call so I am not going to press the call because otherwise distress message will go. So you need to press the call and the distress message will go, transmit immediately and SAR operation will start. Now I am going to show you how to test this uh, MFHF equipment. For daily test, we have to do the self test of uh, this equipment. For doing self test, you have to go to this button test, just click on the test. Now it will show you the options which test do you uh, do you carry out so we will select first daily go to using this knob go to daily and just click so it will start daily test so our daily test is completed uh, so this is the result of the daily test you can see so this will show you the daily test result now then and you also the printer will print this uh, re this result so you have to uh, check out the printer and just uh, you have to take the print out and, and keep it in your file next test is self test for self test also you have to go to the test go to from using this knob go to self test and click so it, it will start the self test it will take around maybe one two minutes again so our self test is also completed so you can see it is showing ok 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 so everything is ok in our system and after this you have to check the printer so this is the printer paper here and just see everything is printed self test and everything so you have to just cut it out and put it in your uh, file now weekly you have to send uh, sure a test message and you have to get the reply of the test message for doing that from ALR, from ALRS volume you have to check the nearest O station and the MMSI number and after checking the MMSI number you have to put it in the system and send a uh, test message to them so I, I am going to show you go to DSC now after that press the just using this uh, knob go to test message click so this menu will pop up now put the MMSI number of uh, whatever post station you want to send like this put something I'm just putting a random numbers after this press enter then just set the uh, click on frequency and select the frequency in which you, you want to send and after doing this just press this call after pressing this call the message will go and you will have to wait for the acknowledgement and when the acknowledgement comes from uh, coast station the print will come and just keep that print to your uh, gm disease file so this is the weekly test of your mfhf and the model of this mfhf is furono and in daily test you have to check this voltage of the batteries also and you have to check it on load as well as on off load so the off load voltage now it is showing is 27 volt now you have to come to the panel open this so you have to open this panel and switch off the main supply so now it is in the battery load now you have to check just put it on the RT and now check 
the battery voltage see now it is dropping so you have to write down this battery voltage during on load and you have to write it down every day on your gmds log so guys our next equipment in the list of gmds is this uh, ais let me show you this is the ais and we need to do the uh, uh, weekly this uh, self test in this system so for doing this you have to go to this menu you can check uh, there is a button called menu just click on menu go to diagnostics and then enter just press enter and these are the different kind of test like monitor test transponder test uh, and the other things so just go to the monitor test and press enter it will start testing uh, your eis then transponder test press enter it will start start testing your uh, eis so that's it for the eis nothing more in the eis and next equipment is our vhf this is the vhf we have two vhf i have already told you for sending distress message in the vhf if you don't have uh, time you have emergency just come here and press this button distress red color button and the distress message will go so if you have time for preparing designated distress message you can uh, uh, make the designated distress message also just you have to come to this button press this button call or message after this there is a thing called call type just using this knob press enter and these are the options post shape group call so you have to go and select distress the last one is the distress just press the enter after this nature it will ask for the nature just click enter and you can put the fire flooding and whatever distress you have like sinking and then you need to press this call or you need to press this distress button for 5 second and this message will automatically uh, go the distress message so this is the procedure for uh, distress message sending in your uh, vhf now i am going to uh, tell you how to do the uh, daily test and the uh, daily self test and the test between two vhf so guys uh, for testing this vhf you have to press this button test so for doing this you have to first press shift and then test so this is the daily test and so after doing this self test now you have to send a test message to your second vhf set on the ship so for doing this just press the call select the call type ship call now put the ship's id that is mmsi id so our ship mmsi id is 630 it is already fitted 63 6010448 so it is already there now just press call so test the call will uh, progress in 3 second see already we have received one test message in our other vhf so this is the test between the two vhf internal test so this you have to do daily as well as weekly so this is the test for vhf equipment on board guys i have shown you the test of uh, sat c mfhf and vhf now i am going to show you the test uh, for our naptex there is a test also for naptex which we have to do weekly so guys let's go so guys this is the naptex on board we have and the model of the naptex is furuno so guys for doing the uh, weekly test of this naptex you have to go to menu press this button menu then go to services we have so uh, four options naptex system display and service go to service click enter then there is a uh, there is a option called test just press the enter and it will ask you start test so click on yes enter so it will start test see already the test is done now for print you have to press enter I'll pr uh, press enter. So now it is the keyboard test. You have to press the keyboard like this. 
So after this, one more test will start. Uh, the screen test. It will take some time. Now hit any key. Enter. So now it is testing internally. And after some time, it will show the result. So check. It is. It has already given the result. Result is okay. Okay. So now you have to take the print of this thing. So just uh, press print, and it will start the uh, printing the result. So this is the uh, test for the Navtex on board. So you have to do the weekly test and keep this paper in your file for file. So guys, next thing is the GMDSS radio. We have three GMDSS radio, and we have to test it. Uh, just switch it on, and now it is in the channel 16. Now just test it with our own VHF. See, hello, hello, testing. So it is working with our VHF system, and we have extra battery. Every ship will have extra spare of battery for this uh, GMT test walkie-talkie. So we need to check this battery and make sure this this is sealed. Do not remove seal. Remove seal before use. Only before use we need to remove the seal. If the seal is broken and somebody come and checks, it is a big remark. You have to check the expiry date. What is expiry date? And you have to check this seal. It should the seal should be intact. Otherwise, this is a observation. So, guys, this is the test for GMTS walkie talkie. Now, next thing is I am going to show you how to test the EPUB. Emergency position indicating radio beacon. So, guys, let's go. So, guys, we have this EPUB here. One EPUB in this ship. So, we have to take out this cover. So, let me take out the cover and I'll uh, show you how to test the EPUB. Guys, I have taken out the EPUB from the EPUB cover. This is the EPUB we have on board. The model is Macmodo. Now, I am going to show you how to test this EPUB. This you have to do every monthly. So in this EPUB we have one test button. See, this is the test button. Just you need to press this test button and hold. And there is a LED here; it will flash. So that is the test of EPUB. So I am going to press this and hold for five second. See, it is in the test mode now. See, start blinking. So this is the test for the EPUB. That's it. So you, this test you have to do every monthly with your EPUB. So guys, next equipment in our list is this SART Search and Rescue Radar Transponder. So this transponder is for the search and rescue purpose. Whenever we go, uh, like in case of emergency, we have to abandon the ship. Then we need to carry this SART with us. And uh, whenever uh, a ship passes through uh, nearby our lifeboat or life raft when at sea. Uh, this SART will get uh, activated by X-band radar signal of other ship, and it will start transmitting. So let me show you the testing procedure of SART. There is a test button here. Our uh, SART is uh, Tron SART 20 maker. There is a test button here, on, off, and test. You can see this test button. Just you need to put this button down, and it will start transmitting uh, the signal, and you will get 12 beeps, 12 rings. In your radar. So, guys, I have shown you the different uh, GMTS equipment testing. Now, I am I am going to show you the log for the GMTS. That is GMTS log, which is uh, mandatory, and you have to write down all your monthly, daily, weekly test and whatever you are receiving uh, in the GMTS important things like distress messages and all. You have to note it down, and it is a mandatory log. Surely, any port authority. any waiting inspector will come and check so let's go and find out so if you like this video you can subscribe my channel and if you have any doubt you can just uh, write it down in the comment section i'll be more than happy to explain your clarify your doubt so guys let's go and check out the gmbss log so let's go so this is the gmbss log we have on board we have this uh, mca gmbss log book for our company and i am going to show you one by one all the things so this is the first page and one example is given how to write the gmdss uh, log what all things to be written and 
there are some uh, this is the first page where you will get uh, the detail you have to fill the detail name rank and other things now the second page will be this annex in this annex everything is explained what all daily test you have to do what all weekly test you have to do what all monthly test you have to do so go through this checklist i'm just putting the video still so that you can just check it out whatever thing is written so go through this uh, checklist and you will find what all things to be done daily weekly and monthly next thing is this is the actual log we have so every day we have to do the daily test and write it down like this daily test daily test is carried out uh, which have self test blah 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 so this is the daily test and what all things we are receiving that you need to write it down here like this this one all station we uh, receive the weather uh, messages so you have to write it down you have to uh, take the signature of captain every page captain need to sign so this is the see this is the monthly test weekly test so just check out weekly test what all things need to be written mfha weekly test to carry it out and with co station blah 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 acknowledgement received then this is the monthly test we have carried out monthly daily monthly test test messages then monthly test nbdp sat epub gm this is walkie talkie so these things you have to write it down i am just keeping this uh, uh, camera still so that you can just check out what to write so this is the gmdss log book we have and this is the mandatory thing so guys i have shown you the gmdss log book which is also mandatory uh, you have to any port authority come you have to show that uh, the log they will check it properly as well as uh, for betting purpose the betting inspector will surely uh, check your gmdss log and you need to sign uh the gmts is compressed by captain also that is also important so guys if you have any doubt uh you can write it down in the comment section and i'll surely reply and also check out my channel the travel olic sailor you will find many uh, marine knowledge videos and uh, including travel vlogs i'm also a travel vlogger so you can check out my vlogs so guys this is second bed this side signing off i'll see you the next video in my channel the travel all excel so bye bye take care see you soon with a new video.